Thank you so much for joining me for this video. If you own one of these cheaper 4Q firing systems and you're wondering how far you can push them in terms of firing multiple igniters from one Q or extending igniters with bell wire, then this video is for you. A couple of small apologies before we get started. I had promised to stand back from consumer igniters, but finding out the failure points of these is a bit of a side quest of mine. And today I've had a number of failures testing with this system. So I think this all helps to bring us a little bit closer to finding what the limits of these systems are and also what things could be going wrong in people's displays when they experience failures. So yes, I have spent uh, yet another day letting off quite a number of Talon clip-on igniters to try and find out what's going on. The other small apology is for my uh, hat hair. I, I can't do anything with it and I haven't got time. I've got so many videos to make in so little time. So you just have to put up with this tuft sticking out. Apologies for that. Let me run through what I'm testing today. The firing system that I'm using is the cheap 4Q system that I purchased off eBay. I'm using this intentionally because it's such a popular system due to its price that lots of people have these. It's a great starter system if you're starting out with electrical firing and want to test the water without spending lots of money on a bigger system. You can't really go wrong with these. If you haven't bought a 4Q system as yet, in my opinion, if you spend a little bit more money, you can get something slightly better. This is a system that I really like called the DB04R. What you get with the extra money with the DB04R is on the back you've got four buttons. This allows you to assign individual cues to any button on the remote control that you like. So it's easy to fire, for example, cues one and two together from one button. If you don't need that facility and you're just going to fire cues one, two, three, four in that sequence, then the cheaper system will be absolutely fine. All of the igniters that I'm testing today are clip-on igniters, also known as talon igniters. These are designed to clip onto the safety fuse on each of your fireworks and ignite that. So this is very much at the consumer end of things. I'm not testing standard e-matches today. That can be for another day. The bell wire that I'm extending with as well, this is Pitax bell wire. I'll put the details on a caption on the screen. This was from Tool Station and I'm using the same bell wire in each of these tests. The connectors that I'm using today, if you're interested, are called Vargo connectors. That's spelt with a W. These are clip style connectors that make this type of wiring very easy. All of the igniters will be wired in parallel, which is the recommended way of using clip-on igniters rather than running them in series. And all of the igniters are 0.5 meters in length, though obviously with the bell wire, we are extending that considerably. For battery power, I'm using Energizer batteries. But just to add something else into the mix here, when I do a lot of my field tests, it's done on warm afternoons during the day when I can film. So the batteries are warm. So what I've decided to do for this test, to start with at least, is to put the batteries in the fridge. So here they are chilling next to tonight's dinner. And I left them in the fridge for two hours at least at four degrees centigrade. My thinking here is whether cold batteries could be another potential failure point for these systems. So at least we can do a basic test on that today as well. Okay, let's have a look now at what's connected to each queue. On Q1, we have two talons firing together at the end of two meters of extension wire. In Q2, We've got three talons firing at the end of four meters of extension wire. So I've added an igniter and doubled the length. In Q3, I have four talons firing at the end of six meters of extension wire. In Q4, initially, I had four talons at the end of 10 meters of wire. But as you'll see, as the tests unfold, we don't quite get that far. OK, let's do some firing. Q1, first of all, two talons on two metres of wire. This fired with no problems at all. So straight off, we can see that this system does work with cold batteries and they were literally taken straight out of the fridge and put in and fired immediately. So that's good news. The system does work with cold batteries. Q2 now, three talons at the end of four metres of extension wire. Unfortunately, only two fire one does not. 
One feature of talons is providing the igniter isn't faulty, you do sometimes get a second bite of the cherry so you can try them again if they don't work the first time. So I'm going to fire it again, although effectively this is now firing one talon at four meters. As you can see here, this fires okay. Q3 now, this is four talons on the end of six meters of extension wire. Unfortunately, a complete failure. Although you may notice here that there was a puff of smoke so it's kind of trying but not quite getting there. Because of the failures with three at four meters and the fact that four at six meters nothing fired, rather than repeatedly pressing the button and trying to fire them, I decide at this point to rewire the four igniters here back onto the two meter bell wire extension. My thinking here is just to double check if four don't fire at six meters, would they fire at two meters? As you can see, three fire okay, but one doesn't. So I decide to fire the queue again. Bear in mind though that I am effectively firing just one talon at two meters now, and that does fire okay. With the failures of four talons at six meters, I didn't really see the point of trying four at 10 meters as originally planned. So what I've done here is I've taken two talons out. So now I have two talons firing at 10 meters. Let's see how that goes. Reducing the number of igniters clearly helped in this case. I'm going to fire another two at 10 meters just to make sure that everything's working fine. No problems there. Out of curiosity at this point, I went back to 10 meters and wired four talons in again, but I swapped the batteries out. So I ditched the cold batteries and put in four brand new energizer batteries which are at room temperature. I wanted to see here whether warm batteries had significantly more firepower. Really just to put my mind at rest whether the failures uh, we've just had were down to cold batteries or not. I'm afraid this didn't work. I did try a couple of times as well, but it just wasn't having it with four talons at this distance. Let's take one talon out now and drop down to three, see whether three fire. Remember we've already fired two successfully, but not four. Let's try three. No luck with three, so the cutoff at 10 meters is definitely two talons, any more than that, don't fire. For the next test, I decided to fire four talons, but with no extension at all. I say no extension, there's a small amount of bell wire to wire into the Fargo connector, but if you have a look at this setup, this is effectively 0.5 meter talons wired directly into the unit. And as expected, all four fire okay. testing complete then, at least for today. Can we draw any conclusions at all from a limited test like this? Well I think we can, although there are going to be some assumptions made as well. Firstly, with regards to cold batteries, whilst we can't say from this test at what point or at what temperature cold batteries will affect the system, we have at least demonstrated that batteries that have been in the fridge for a couple of hours at four degrees centigrade at least do still work. The system still switched on and it still fired some of its talons. Secondly, based on today's tests, I would be very happy to fire one or two talons from one queue on this system, extended by up to 10 meters. The system seemed to have no problems at all with two talons. However, in jumping up to three or four talons, that's when we started to experience problems. As a result of today's tests, if I was gonna fire three or four talons from one queue on this system, I wouldn't be happy doing so on any length of extension at all. I would want to wire them as close to directly into the unit as I could. Because this and other tests show that when you extend igniters with bell wire, there is a distance at which they will fail, I would encourage you if you have fireworks that are a long way away from your firing system, rather than run lots of lengths of bell wire, it might be better investing in a second or third system to situate with those fireworks. I think that's a, a more reliable way of approaching long distances than running lots of wire. Keep in mind with the tests I've done today, there are lots of caveats. For example, would you get different results with a different brand of batteries? Possibly, at a different temperature? Possibly. If you had a different brand of cheap firing system, would that fire more or less talons at certain distances? That's possible as well. And if you use a different brand of extension wire with a different resistance, that could affect things as well. So 
don't take the test too literally today, but I think what we have demonstrated is with one or two igniters on this type of system, you're safe at up to 10 meters. But if you're gonna use more than that, then try and keep the lengths as short as possible. That would be my take home from today's testing. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. If you are the owner of one of these systems and you've got that question, how many talons can you fire and at what distances can you extend? I hope this video has answered those questions for you. And on that note, I will say goodbye and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.